Well, some of you are waking up without power and with a lot of cleaning up to do. Hope your phone had a charge, that's for sure. Strong storms hit our area late last night and left behind a lot of different problems for people. The News Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski has been showing you the damage of what it looks like in several neighborhoods all morning. And Blake, right now you're in Bell, Bell Mead. What are you seeing out there? Yeah, Amy and Adam, I've actually moved over to Percy Warner Boulevard. I'm actually at a house where you can see they have gotten some serious damage. I can see to the right of your screen that a really large older tree completely snapped. You can obviously see that there are branches all over the roof into the yard. I can actually see if you look to the top right corner of your screen that that roof has been damaged at this point. So we haven't seen any crews actually out here specifically to this home, but from um, NWS, we have not received any reports of injuries from this storm anywhere in the area. So we can assume that these people are all okay, although I imagine that they cannot stay in at least part of this home this morning. And this is just a bit of the damage that we've been seeing all throughout the morning. We've seen several power lines down. We've seen trees in the road. We've seen cars damage. So uh, definitely a mess left for people to clean up. We had about 7,000 people without power yesterday. We've gotten that down to under 700, but we've been seeing it slowly climb throughout the morning. We started the morning with about 620 people without, and now we're at over 680 people without. So we're keeping an eye on that and keeping an eye on any of those uh, damages that we're seeing. And if you have seen anything, make sure you shoot us an email um, for News Channel 5 to uh, go check it out. I don't know, send us any photos that you've also uh, taken from that storm damage as well. For now, live in Bell Mead, Blake Rosnowski, News Channel 5.